Hey guys, Matt Clendenin here. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy Friday, at least as I record this video. Might not be Friday for you. This is going to be part two of our two section video series on why a lawyer might not want to take my case. There's lots of folks out there that feel like every law firm they talk to just turns them down. And the first session, we talked about all the legal reasons why there might be something wrong with your case. And that's why a lawyer might not want to take your case. Uh, this session, we're going to talk a little bit different. These are kind of the intangibles, the things that you might have a good legal case, but a lawyer still doesn't want to take your case. So the first one is every lawyer has you know, a different caseload. Some lawyers are busier than others. And sometimes it's kind of random. A lawyer might just happen to be in the middle of a slow period, or they could be super busy. So you don't know what the lawyer's internal schedule is. They might just not have time to take your case. Second thing is lawyers hate to be the second, or God forbid, the third lawyer to work on a client's file. So if you have already had a lawyer, chances are subsequent lawyers are not going to want to jump on the case because usually it means your first lawyer was doing something wrong. So having multiple lawyers, that's a tough one. Another reason is just communication issues. If a lawyer feels like you're hard to talk to or you're not listening to them or any other communication barrier, a lawyer might be hesitant about taking your case because a relationship with a lawyer is one that's built on communication and trust. And if the lawyer has a hard time communicating with a potential client on the very first phone call, you know, you could have the best case in the world, but a lawyer is going to think twice about taking that case on. Those are three kind of big reasons behind the scenes why a lawyer might be saying no to your case. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more explanation and background into why a lawyer may or may not take your case and answer some questions for folks who are sitting out there saying, gosh, you know, I've called everybody. Nobody wants to take my case. So part one, legal reasons. Part two, kind of behind the scenes reasons for lawyers. So hopefully that gives everyone a little bit more uh, understanding of how a lawyer decides whether or not to take on a new case. Have a good one.